Hello everyone, I'm Nadim and welcome to the first video of making a math game. We will be creating the game in C Sharp and the game will be endless, very challenging and it will be fun. Uh, take a look at the final result. And let's get started in the video. Okay, so first, um, let's add the UI. So we add canvas and and draw images as bars. So first of all, I want to create game empty game object and call it bars, and then add the raw image and oh, where the, okay I have this here I will call it bar 1 and let's scale it down like this let's see how it looks okay cool so in this tutorial we'll be doing um, we'll be making the bars move right and left until they reach the edges and then um, reverse their speed so we will need box collider two dimensional and a rigid body two D so let's just scale the box collider so it fits the bar so 100 by and the y is 10 or also 100 okay so as you can see it fills the bar and we'll have to create um, walls for the edges so we'll create another raw image I'll call it wall one and add box collider box collider 2d and just to the edge then scale it 100 and the y is 1000 okay and we want a rigid body of course So we will put, we will set the gravity to zero, and we will freeze the the x position and y, so it doesn't move. And we will just we'll go ahead and duplicate it and to the other edge. Okay, okay so let's see how it looks like. Um, we will, I'll just. then set this to zero and do the same with this to the right and position zero so I'll check it out right now okay so disable the raw images component so it will be invincible invisible okay so now let's make the bar move so we'll call it move bar so first we will need um, speed float so public float speed and I guess pretty much that's it and we need a void on collision enter 2D to, de to detect the collision so collision 2D and then call and then debug so we can see if the unity detected the collision 
dot log and then um, collide it okay and of course we have to reverse the speed so speed equals speed times minus one okay so let's make the speed 10 we will we'll need to move the bar so it will be like this um, game object dot transform dot position plus equals new vector 2 um, speed and then 0 the position dot x and and we'll just add uh, oh no, no, no wait the position and victor 3 so no new victor 3 and then x equals speed and y and z 0 okay so I'm gonna try it right now Okay, so as you can see, it says here collided, and the bar, whenever it, it uh, reaches the edge, it reverses its speed. Let's see how it works in the editor. So just minimize the screen and see how it goes. Ten and then minus ten. Ten minus ten. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and duplicate the bars. We will need five of them. So that's four and here we go five. So this is bar two. Three. And this is the fourth and the fifth. This I'm gonna change the positions. So the first one is here, second is third and fourth and fifth. Okay, so go to canvas and then choose under canvas scalar, choose scale with screen size. Let's see how oh, it's, it's too big, so let's just scale all those down. So um, let's say one and here point one. And let's see how it goes. Okay, much better. So let's just scale the x more. So 1.2, um, and this just leave it at 1. Okay, I'm just gonna head going to. move them randomly and of course decrease the speed to 5 um, too fast so let's try to I'm um, choosing one bar wait should be 2 um, or Five. Okay, so much better. Okay, great. Um, this is the first tutorial of the series. 
thanks for watching everyone and stay tuned for more subscribe see you later